in this next part of this lecture, we're going to make sure that you really understand what negative exponent uh, does. Negative exponent does not make a quantity positive or negative. It simply moves the base to the exponent and makes the exponent positive and moves the base to the numerator or denominator, respectively, depending on where it's sitting. So this next set is very, very important so you understand what is happening. You already know how to evaluate negative 3 to the second. That negative, how do you read it? It's negative of 3 to the second. So it's negative of 3 times 3 or negative 9. So it's like there's an invisible parenthesis there, right? This negative sign is just going to follow through. All right, how about that? That parenthesis is like a, a separating your negative out here with this. So it's negative off. So that negative is just going to follow through. 3 to the negative second, we rewrite that as 1 over 3 to the second and then evaluate it. So the negative second power moves the base to the denominator, and you end up with 1 over 9. And that negative just follows through. This negative will just follow through. All right, that negative completes that. So negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So remember, the negative exponent does not make anything positive or negative. It's whatever is in the base raised to the positive exponent. You evaluate that, and the answer is what it is. If there's a negative on the outside, then the negative just carries through. See if that makes sense to you. So again, this negative 2 exponent made the whole base go to the denominator and made it positive exponent, and then you know how to evaluate it. Negative 3 times negative 3 is going to give you the 9. Let's do this next one. Negative 2 multiplied by itself gives you 4, and negative uh, 2 times 4 is negative 8. Now what? Well, that negative is moving the base to the denominator. This negative sign is from this negative sign. This negative sign of the exponent is making things go to the base and making it a positive exponent. Think about what's happening. Negative exponent is making things go into the denominator, whereas that negative sign is part of the base. So until you have base to the positive exponent, you cannot really touch the positive or negative part. And then you evaluate it. All right, so see that negative sign stays and the bottom you expand. Now the negative number exponent is on the denominator, so things are going to go switch and go to the top. This negative sign is that negative sign has nothing to do with this negative sign of the exponent. Please make sure that you understand that. So here we just have negative 3 squared, so just evaluate it. So if the base is positive, do you need to move it? No. But if the base is negative, then it moves and goes to the numerator. If it's in the numerator, it will go to the denominator. If it's in the denominator, it will go to the numerator. All right. So negative 2 to the negative third power. So again, the base is, ne the base is negative 2. So base always stays. Negative third power on the denominator makes it move to the numerator. The base moves to the numerator, and the exponent changes signs. So our summary for all the exponent stuff we've done so far is our uh, any real number a and counting number n, a to power n, is multiply a n times. a is called the base, n is called the exponent. And then we saw all these properties. When you multiply same base to an exponent and same base to exponent, you can add the exponents. 
If you have base to exponent raised to a power, you can multiply the exponents and have the same base. If you have a division of base to exponents, you can subtract the exponents. And base to 0 power is always 1. And just remember why that is, though. If you have base to a negative exponent, it simply moves the base to the denominator and have a positive exponent. If you have a negative exponent in the denominator, you will move the base to the numerator and have a positive exponent. This is going to help you do many, many different kinds of problems. All right, do practice problems here now. We will share the answers in just a little bit. So pause and do them on your own. Assuming you've come back, let's see if you got that. Why is the negative stay? Because the negative is on the outside, right? Negative 2 power makes the 4 go in the denominator and have a positive 2 power. 3 squared is just going to be 9. This next one, what are you going to do? You have a negative exponent in the denominator, so it's going to go to the numerator. Same thing happened here, except you had a negative in front. So this negative sign is going to carry through because it's negative off whatever you're doing here. So see if you got them all right. Go ahead, pause the video and do them. Because if you don't, you're not going to know if you understand or understood the material. So there is no point in going forward if you don't want to get this part. So really pause and see if you understand it. If you have trouble, let us know. Look, a to the negative 5. Negative exponent made it positive exponent on the bottom. Here we have negative 7, a 7 to the negative 1 power. And what do you do with exponents? You subtract, or you can also think of this as 7 to the 1 in the numerator, and you end up with 3 sevens. And you can multiply that out. If you have negative d to the negative 4 power, negative d to the 15 power, negative d is your base. You have a negative exponent, so it's going to move to the denominator, make positive exponent. And then you have finish it out. How come this negative came on the outside? Can you figure that out? What happens if you take a negative number multiplied by itself odd number of times versus even number of times? Good. Odd number of times gives you a negative. Even number of times gives you a positive. Right now, we're not as concerned about this. We'll do this a little bit later. We just really want you to get to this stage. If you got to that stage, you're good. And if you got to that stage, it's even better. All right, so here, what do you do with the exponents? We said we could multiply them. And so we got 6. <clears throat> you can also turn all the negative exponents into positive exponents and then do the problem. Again, here you can simplify inside the parentheses first, and then evaluate, and then continue just like we did above there.